Okay, what we've got here is a mock-up of a FEMA 350 connection. In other words, this I-beam here represents a vertical uh, column and typically a girder or joist will come into it here. These bolts basically just hold the thing in place until you can weld. There's a backup bar here, a backup bar here, what we call rat's holes that you reach through and weld here and then would come around and weld from the other side. Uh, it is extremely hard, almost like finding hen's teeth, to get any information on this mock-up. Well, these, by the way, these things are called stiffeners. We throw them in here just so there's no deflection in the whole uh, column from the force of that girder. Anyway, so this is a mock-up here showing what that connection's about. We have a way here, uh, after working with a, an AWS inspector for third, the, un, uh, an inspector of 30 years, he showed me this way we can set this up to test students and qualify them and certify them so they can uh, be a certified welder for this connection. Again, finding this on the web somewhere is just about impossible. So the setup we've devised here is to take a couple plates like you would normally do a, a, a weld test. We have a square edge and this would be cut at a 45. Now we've taken, I've got an aluminum setup here because the aluminum won't stick to the uh, steel as it's welded. You set it up, you put your backing bar up under there. Then you can weld this whole thing, reaching through the quote unquote rat hole, weld the whole thing off with a backup bar, remove this, and then from here, you're gonna take your whole setup, cut the back off, grind it, and do a bend test on your root and your face like you would no normally do on so many of these 3 8 test plates. Anyway, so that's the setup. Again, I've taken some quarter inch aluminum, tacked it together. That square edge, again, is flushed out. We clamp that with our quarter inch gap in there with a backup bar underneath it. We can weld that, pop it off, uh, cut the backing bar, et cetera, et cetera. So that's a, that's a great setup for a FEMA 350 test. Really hard to find. Again, if you got an issue with this, I know all the people on the welding channels are pissing and moaning about stuff all the time. I'm kind of sick of it. But anyway, take it up with the AWS inspector. I apprenticed under and the guy did this for 30 years. I don't know if he came up with this test, but uh, it's a heck of a good way to get certified and uh, Man, there's so little information anywhere. So I hope this helps a lot of you Welders that are looking to get certified in this 350 connection. So here's some pieces be cleaned up 45 degree bevel square bevel 90 degree and a backup bar. So I'm going to tack these upside down Stack them together with a backup bar on them and a quarter inch gap between these things. And then we'll just go from there. So uh, I'm going to put four one inch welds here. One, two, three, four. Some people put them in the middle. I don't like doing that. It's just something extra in the way to have to cut and grind out of there later on. And I've got my little jig in place. And I'm ready to try my 350 connection. Again, I can do this with stick, flux core, NR232, NR233. Uh, yeah, that's the general welding procedures. And then once it's done, I can pop it apart, do a regular cut and bend test. Now I just did a stringer there. I'm getting it filled up here. Got it filled up here. I'm going to run a little stringer right along that back side just to make sure I've got enough fill in there. Okay, 
So I've done my last pass, pop that off. Now we are ready to take this out, cut the backup bar off, grind it, bend it, test it. 